Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Hunter Hauk, and this is my leopard gecko, Peyton. I just realized I'm wearing merch from when the channel was called Our Life in the Mountains. Much better. Now I'm wearing my new merch. This is Peyton. Do you see the resemblance? Anyways, I designed this, and you can get it at shop.hunterhauk.com. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a little Q&A about Peyton. Yes! So on Instagram I asked you guys to send me some questions about Peyton and I got, let's see here, one, two, three, like eight or ten of them so we are going to answer all of those. What is Peyton's age? That was one of the most commonly asked questions so I don't know exactly like her hatch date or anything but I purchased her it, I guess it was December 26th of 2018 so I'd say she's around a year old she looks like she's around a year old so not very old let's see what's next um someone asks how much and how often does she eat so that really just depends on what she wants I guess so sometimes she'll eat like six to ten mealworms Sometimes she'll eat like 11, or sometimes she'll have like five mealworms and three or four superworms. It really just depends. But the how often part is like two or three times a week for the most part. Although it, I guess it's been like two months now. Two months ago, she like went off food for about a month, and I was very worried, so I like sent a message to actually Jessica from Jessica's Animals, Jessica's Animal Friends here on YouTube. She has a lot of leopard geckos and she has experience with all sorts of stuff. And I was really surprised when she replied like an hour later. It was awesome. I wasn't expecting her to reply, but I'm like, hey, at least I can see. But yeah, she said it was perfectly normal and stuff. And I gave Peyton some Reptiboost and eventually that got her back on food. Um, another question is, do you still have her in a bin enclosure? So a lot of you guys have seen, she's licking me, have seen the video where I show you how to set up a leopard gecko bin enclosure. So the answer to that question is yes, she is still in a bin enclosure, but it's quite a bit different. There's a lot more hides and decoration and stuff. It was kind of more simple than I would recommend in that video. So... Like, I guess I could do an updated one eventually. Comment down below if you want to see that video. Um, how many grams is she was another one. So, I don't know her exact mass, I guess. I haven't checked it in quite a while, but she is pretty big. I will find her mass, and I'll put the number of grams on the screen right now. Hi, Peyton. <laughs> So her thermostat has it set at 90 degrees, so it'll heat up to 93, and it'll go down to 89, but it tries to keep it at 90 degrees on her warm end. Of course, she has a very large gradient. She has a really big enclosure. I think it's like almost as long as my bed, so if she wants to be 90 degrees, she can go all the way over there. or if she wants to be room temperature, well not quite room temperature, but almost room temperature, she can come over here or anywhere in between, which that's important for when they're digesting their food. I think she just likes the shirt. Um, let's see here. Can I steal her? No. You cannot steal Peyton. She's my leopard gecko. I don't wanna like... What do he eat? I get your question, but just what do he eat? Um, she, I guess I forgot to say Peyton is a female. I thought she was a male, but turns out, nope, she's a female. Um, but she eats mealworms and superworms. 
and I've tried a couple other feeders like wax worms, or not wax worms, yeah, silkworms. And she doesn't like those very much, so she eats mealworms and soupworms. Another question is, when did you get hurt? Like I said, December 26th of 2018, so the day after Christmas. And where did you get hurt? I got her, this was my mistake, I should have gotten her from a breeder or a rescue, but unfortunately I purchased her from PetSmart, which I don't recommend because of health issues that a lot of their geckos have. She probably won't live as long as she could if she was from like a responsible breeder because they just breed to produce as many animals as they can instead of producing for high quality genetics. Um, more info about that can be found on YouTube and stuff. Or I guess Reptiles Magazine. I really, mm, they probably wouldn't talk about this. I like Reptiles Magazine. I have a copy of it back there that I've been reading, but um, I got a subscription to it a while ago and it's a, a bi-monthly magazine, so it only comes every two months. I wish it was monthly, but I definitely recommend getting that. Um, let's see what other questions did I get. What morph is she? So like I said, she is just a normal, so she's what you would find in the wild. Some people refer to them as wild type. Although when I hear the word wild type, that reminds me of axolotls. And yeah, she's pretty cool. She's very friendly. People often ask like, is a leopard gecko a friendly animal or should you just like leave them alone? And I'd say they're not gonna be obviously like a dog or a cat. They're gonna be more like, well, like a leopard gecko. They, they really can't like show affection to you. They're just not intelligent enough to form a bond with you, unfortunately. I wish they were because they're such cool animals. But what they can do is like learn that you mean food and I don't even know if Peyton knows that or if she just enjoys being on me because I'm warm. Because yeah, I don't know. But anyway, she doesn't show any signs of stress when I'm holding her. If your animal shows stress, then don't hold them because that's just gonna stress them out. Um, they're definitely not like a large monitor or dare I say an iguana that can learn that you are a good thing and that they enjoy being with you. They're just a leopard gecko. <laughs> um, I know Alex from Go Herping, if you guys watch that channel, which you probably do if you watch reptile videos. Um, he said that these are one of the least intelligent animals that he's worked with, but they're some of his favorites because of just how cool they are. They're great pets. I would definitely say that if you can provide the resources and the time to care for them, go for it because it's a pet that doesn't take a ton of time and they're not super expensive. The setup is expensive, but the like actual food and stuff isn't going to be that expensive. I order mealworms and superworms online. <laughs> My hamster is eating his food very loudly in the background, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, I'll make an update on him too, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to put her on my shoulder. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you do want to get my merch, there's this design, and I think there's this in green. So I designed this. I got a picture of Peyton, and it was really cool, but I just traced her from the top. And this is actually, the red is from a picture of, I think, roses. I liked the shade or the tone the color tone that it had, so I chose that, like, for the colors, and then, yeah, it took, like, six hours to make this design, and then the green one took even longer, so I would love it if you guys would go support the channel by buying the merch. You can find it at shop.hunterhawk.com, or it's the top link in the description. Um, oh, can you guys see the stuff on my windowsill back there? That's all stuff that you guys have sent me. Um, I'm actually making a video where I just compile, like, showing you guys all the stuff that you guys have sent me in the past. But, 
If you want to send me something, send an email to fan, fanmail at hunterhawk.com and tell me and then I can get you hooked up with the PO box. I'm not going to put it in the description or anything because then yeah, that would probably not end super well. So just send me an email to the email on screen right now if you want to send me something and I'll make sure to put it in that video. Um, s please comment down below what you want me to make for my next video. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up for Peyton, because Peyton's a cool gecko. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and this is the last time I'll say it. Please go to shop.hunterhack.com. Oh, there's also a design of my dog, who you guys haven't seen on this channel before, because a video of him is coming up soon. But if you follow me on Instagram at HunterHackOfficial, you'll see that he is a very cool dog. He's a puppy, and I have a design of him too. Um, it's really high quality. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.